everybody. I'm Melissa. This is month 34 with your toddler and with my toddler, Bracey. During his 34th month, Bracey had a very quick trip to France. The trip ended up getting cut short because his sister, Marielle, broke her arm at horseback riding camp, so we had to go and pick her up. We then enjoyed a trip to the United States, which involved a lot of jet lag, but on the plus side, a new car seat, which ended up being great. It's one I've had my eye on for a long time, so I was really happy to invest in this car seat, and it worked great on the plane ride home. By this age, most toddlers can say between 250 and 450 words. Your toddler may have many more words than you realize. Begin to describe their feelings, saying things like, Bracy is sad. Begin to describe their past and present experiences with something like, Bracy went doctor, Bracy hurt. My doctor said not to worry if the linking words and verbs are not there yet. Point out objects in a book while you read, such as animals, vehicles, buildings, and elements of nature. Employ more verbs such as running, jumping, dancing, and eating. Try to continue to incorporate as much rich vocabulary and explanations into your day with your toddler. When you're doing something, describe what you're doing out loud. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Woo! What's that? Uh, what is it? Is, is that my suitcase? Is that my suitcase? No, Bracey has a suitcase. Bracey has a suitcase? When you're playing with your toddler, talk about what you're doing. Describe colors, describe shapes, describe activities. You can even talk about things related to imagination. What could happen, like what would happen if this person did this, or this train went here, or this train went there. That's all great. The more talk, the better. Experts say to limit the use of iPhones, iPads, or computers to one hour a day in television. Try not to use it at all. Real world learning is best and talking person to person is the best thing for your toddler. Physical activities for a 34 month old toddler. Continue to encourage your toddler to be active inside and outside the house. Try to get outside every day for at least one hour, if not more, to the park. Try to take short bike rides and try to get your toddler to do even short little jogs. Get your toddler to climb the play gym, to go down the slide, to balance on the seesaw, to go on the swings, to do everything they can outside. And when you're inside, try to keep moving. You can get on and off the sofa. You can go up and down the stairs. You can do an obstacle course. Try playing with hula hoops. Try doing bowling in the house. Anything you do to keep your toddler on their feet, active and using their young body. Intellectual activities for a 34 month old toddler. Combine these with good activities that develop fine motor skills. Play-Doh is great. Cutting is great. Painting is terrific. Block building is terrific. And look for even more opportunities to engage in even more sophisticated play that involves patterns, that involve early math skills such as blocks. There are all sorts of things on the market now that have your toddler both using their fine motor skills and using their cognitive skills to try to imitate patterns, to work on early math skills. And of course, if you're playing with them, which hopefully you are as much as you can, incorporate language into the situation. What should my 34 month old toddler be eating? Keep it fresh, keep it varied, focus on the five main pillars of your toddler's diet. Grains, you want these to be whole grains, fresh, Fruit, opt for fresh, not canned or frozen. Fresh vegetables, try to have a variety of things that you offer to your toddler. Things like eggplant, sweet potato, broccoli, carrots, anything you can think of. Then you wanna have dairy, you wanna have cheese, you wanna have yogurt, you wanna have low fat milk. Most doctors at this point are recommending low fat milk. And finally, protein, very important. Good sources of protein include legumes, but try to have lean meat, chicken, beef, fish, tofu, eggs. That's a very important part of your toddler's diet. How much sleep does a 34 month old toddler need? Your toddler will need between 12.5 and 14 hours sleep over a 24 hour period. That means 11 to 12 hours at night and a nap of between 1.5 and 3 hours. Bracey sleeps about 
13 hours a day. He sleeps for around 11 to 12 hours at night and his nap is about one to maybe 1.5 hours. So I guess we're kind of in the middle of this range. What do I do when my toddler wakes up at night? This is a very, very tricky thing. Sleep training is a really difficult thing. It's actually really difficult not to co-sleep with your child. Many people enjoy co-sleeping with their children. This is a family decision. I ran into a big hurdle with this when I traveled with Bracey this past July um, to the United States. He got incredibly jet lagged and I had him sleep with me in the bed. Like one of the first times I've ever done this with my children. And then I really could barely get him out of the bed. Meanwhile, he tossed and turned so much that it was really hard for me to get a restful night's sleep. So when I came home, I tried to go cold turkey. So what's been happening a lot is, and he sleeps right next to me in my bedroom, he's on a terrace next to me, he wakes up and he just, you know, walks out and he walks into my room and he wakes me up. Sometimes he like touches my face like this. Sometimes I just hear him opening the door. So you can talk to your doctor about this, talk to experts, but in my view, there's really only one thing you can do. The idea is not to play, sing, dance, make it fun. It's to hug and kiss your child, never get angry and just put them back in the bed. And so I do this. I just pick him up. I hug and kiss him. I put him back in the bed. Yesterday he woke up three times. I have no idea why this is happening. It could be just like his rhythms. I'm actually going to talk to my doctor about this. It could be that he's thirsty. Sometimes he wants a little bit of water. Um, I, I really don't know what it is. Sometimes it seems like bad dreams. He wakes up crying. He talks about a chicken, you know, and I always have to say there's no chicken. I don't know why he has this idea of this horrible chicken. But anyway, there's only one thing to do, which is to hug your child, give them a kiss, and then it's back in bed without it being too much fun. If you start interacting with them and making it fun in playtime, I think they're more motivated to wake up. I will say last night that he wouldn't go down at first. I had to, I brought him to this chair and I sang to him and I just tried to calm him down. I sang him like three songs and then I put him back in the bed and that worked. He eventually went to sleep, but it's not easy and it's very tiring. Best of luck with this. Sooner or later, they all do sleep through the night. What does my schedule look like with a 34 month old toddler? 7 a.m. feed and breakfast or breakfast and milk. 10 a.m. snack. 12 p.m. a feed and lunch. Maybe your toddler's sleeping from 1 to 3, maybe just 2 to 3. Try to make sure they're awake by 3 p.m. 3 p.m. feed and snack. 6 p.m. dinner. 7.30 a final milk feeding and 8 p.m. bedtime. Start this schedule when your toddler wakes up. Use it as a loose framework for when your toddler should get their meals, when they should nap, so that energy levels remain consistent. Obviously, there's a lot of variation in this, but I hope this is a helpful guideline for you. Bracey's potty training experience. We're a few months into the potty training now. I would say it's taking longer than it did for my older children. We still have quite a few accidents. I would say at least two or three per day. I'm more successful when I bring him to the potty at least every 20, 30 minutes, but we still have never had a poopy in the potty. So I've told Bracey that when he does that, he's gonna get some chocolate, but that doesn't seem to be motivating him. One thing that can work with this, and I am trying this, is to try to figure out when your child does go to the bathroom and to sit them down at that time. Wish me luck because I only have two months until Bracey starts school, at which point he's supposed to be fully potty trained. What is the average height and weight of a 34 month old toddler? The average weight for a 34 month old toddler is 31.1 pounds for boys, which is 14.1 kilos and 30.1 pounds, which is 13.6 kilos for girls. The average height for a 34 month old boy is 37.0 inches, which is 94 centimeters. And for a girl is 36.6 inches, which is 93 centimeters. Best of luck with your 34 month old. See you back next month for month 35.